Hey, thanks for joining me. In this video, we're going to talk about resilience and resilience training. The APA describes resilience as the process of adapting well in the face of adversity, trauma, tragedy, threats, or significant sources of stress, such as family and relationship problems, serious health problems, or workplace or financial stresses. It means bouncing back from difficult experiences. I found a great article on positivepsychology.com uh, written by Katherine Moore, who's a psychologist. It was by far the best article I've read on resilience training. So I'm going to read you some quotes from that article as well as give you some resources from it right now. What is resilience training? Defined as a dynamic process encompassing positive adaptation within the context of significant adversity, empirical research shows us that resilience can be shaped by how we interpret the adversities we face meaning that it's neither purely a factor of our traits or our surroundings, but can be improved, developed, and nurtured. Put yet another way, yes, we can learn and teach resilience, and resilience training is one way to achieve this. The UK-based Chartered Institute of Personnel and Development has also published literature on how practitioners, individuals, and organizations alike can develop resilience. It covers a huge range of different approaches, Amongst them, resilience training involves understanding and working on our internal locus of control, developing our emotional regulation and awareness, developing our self-efficacy, learning to tolerate ambiguity, and developing realistic optimism and more. The U.S. Army's resilience program is called Master Resilience Training, MRT, which is a 10-day course on developing resilience both during combat and outside it. During MRT, U.S. Army soldiers go through seven different modules that cover three main components. Number one is preparation. This covers psychoeducation on the nature of resilience, the mental factors behind it, and how to grow them. These mental factors, or MRT competencies, include self-awareness, self-regulation, mental agility, optimisms, connections, and character strengths. Number two is sustainment. The focus of the sustainment component is to reinforce and apply the resilience skills covered in the preparation aspect of the course. Soldiers learn to recognize and anticipate what being deployed can involve psychologically, as well as ways to remain resilient and nurture resilience in peers. Number three is enhancement. Based heavily on sports psychology principles, the enhancement component covers one module. Here, MRT teaches goal setting, confidence building, energy management, and more. My co-host of Elevation Recovery, Chris Scott, and I talk about resilience, positive psychology, and self-efficacy, and these types of resilience training ideas all the time in the podcast. I really encourage you to click below, click on the button to read the entire article. Again, it's on positivepsychology.com. Uh, there's a link to this article, which I've been quoting from this amazing author. There are plenty of resources on resilience training. There's a free one by pos positivepsychology.com. Uh, there's ones that you can do more advanced training in. Really good stuff here. I was blown away by this. It's way longer than this, but I just gave you some of the parts that I felt would really help you understand this topic. Resilience is a skill and it can be increased over time. And I highly encourage you to look more into this. It's a fascinating topic. That's all for today. See you next time.